The purpose of our academy is to build a pathway for, for young men uh, to progress to the, to the Premiership and the international game. Uh, building strong partnerships, particularly within our area, is a, is a major strategic priority for us. We're also very aware from research that, that talent emerges at different times and with rugby being a, a, a late maturation sport, giving us the opportunity to, to work with players post-18 is really important for us. The opportunity to work with with the University of Bath is again an excellent opportunity for us. First of all geographically um, it's in a great location in terms of, of our uh, facility at, at Farley House. Um, secondly they're an outstanding academic institution um, and, and finally um, they're, they're a brilliant organisation to work with. We put a huge amount of resource into our partnership at the University of Bath. Um, it's obviously Mark, Mark Lilly and Ryan Davis, uh, so they coach across the Senior Academy and also the University Partnership. We also put Connor uh, McIntosh, our analyst, so he's up there as well, working hard with the team, prepare, helping them prepare match to match. So we've got 15 players that are within the Senior Academy that are up at uh, Bath University. So it's great for them, obviously those guys are getting a degree whilst playing a real good level of rugby um, and the great thing is they've got Farley that's 10 minutes down the road so they also stay connected to Farley. Someone like a Tom Carr Smith who's been um, a regular first team player has been out here, um, he's had a couple of sessions at the uni but because of, his, his, uh, of the uh, needs of the first team out here he's been more out here. We've had players going in between, so like an Ethan Stadden who's been within the first team environment but then comes at the university and gets some game time so it offers good flexibility to the, the young players coming through. The uni programme gives us the opportunities to try things, um, you know, develop different concepts, how we want to play in line with what we're doing with the first team and it also gives us the opportunity to test our design practice out, um, you know, kind of take as much information as we can from the environment we've had before with the first team and what we've learned in the past as well as keeping it stable uh, for the boys that are coming through into the first team. Wednesday night we, we are our fixtures. Thursdays will be a day off for the players. Um, obviously as coaches we'll be reviewing. Friday will be our, our big review day. Uh, Saturdays will be our main training day. Uh, on a Monday sometimes we mix it up a little bit so there's the dojo space we use for some of our contact prep. Um, so we've got variation in, in terms of the facilities we use. Um, but yeah, training on a Monday and also then gym again. Tuesday will be our, our team run. The uni is a great opportunity for us. Uh, we've got the dojo, we've got live feedback, TV, you know, opportunity to make contact, uh, a little bit more of a learning environment on, on pads. On top of that, you've just got so many other sports that we can tap into, you know, from hockey, um, sprint coach, you know, we're linking up with netball so we can look at hand-eye coordination. So the facilities is unbelievable and it also allows us to keep the environment fresh. I think when you're out on the pitch, back and forth to the gym, it's, it can become mundane. So we try and keep it as, um, as, as fun and engaging as possible and just change the environment where they can learn. Balance is really important for us as an academy. We ensure that all our players are dual career athletes in terms of doing some form of education alongside their rugby. Their academics uh, work around their rugby and vice versa is fundamental to their development. We're a massive, we, we massively believe that if we develop players off the field, um, that will massively help them on the field as well. The level of competitiveness is, is high, you know, it's, it's fast paced um, and you get, an, you get a very, very good grinding before you go into first team. So you get a high level of set piece, you know, you get a high level of organisation that you probably don't get is what you get with the 18s. 18s is very transition based. But when it comes to uni, that's up another step up. I think a lot of players are given the opportunity there to, to grow and, you know, express themselves in an environment which is, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a mix between social, high performance and um, also a development tool for us to get into the first team as quick as possible. You look at the players that are coming out of it, I think it's a brilliant opportunity for these guys to, to play a high level rugby whilst getting a good education. I think uh, Tom's probably a, a real life example of the opportunity that, that uh, Buck Super Rugby gives. Kept comes from Brighton, played for his local club down there, came to university did sports performance for three years. It was actually my first year of doing Buck Super Rugby. It was 2016, he was, he was the captain. Worked really hard, uh, 
had good opportunity up there to, like I said, balance his degree and work hard on his rugby. He actually got offered a, a contract, a one-year contract out of uh, coming out of the university. And you know, you look now, he's had quite a few Premiership games and first team experiences. I was quite taken back by how much support the uni had. You know, I think it was five and a half, six thousand people came up. Um, and then they get to experience what it is to play in front of a, a large crowd at the rec. A great spectacle for everyone to watch and go, look, this is a genuine pathway for me to develop and push on and, and play, hopefully, first team as an end result. This programme is now giving us the opportunity to pull players from outside of the academy and then, um, as well as our academy players, but give them an opportunity to play on the big stage. And if they take it, then you never know what they could be in the next couple of years.